Even after the famous case of 6ix9ine vs 9 Trey, where Takashi 6ix9ine snitched on his entire street team, we are now seeing the New York rapper snitch on rappers once again. Ever since the release of 6ix9ine's new song Jenna, rapper 42 Doug called out 6ix9ine for leading him to being arrested by the feds. The famous rap lawyer posted this on his Instagram. Did the back and forth between 42 Doug and Takashi 6ix9ine cause the feds to escalate their pursuit of 42 Doug? I would actually say absolutely yes. Let me explain this to you. March 12th is when 42 Doug was supposed to report to the federal prison. It wasn't until April 29th that the feds actually went out and started looking for him. What happened on April 26th and April 27th? The Doug and Takashi 6ix9ine internet exchange about starting a boxing. Now this entire situation started when 42 Doug reacted to 6ix9ine pulling up on Lil Perkyo, otherwise known as Lil Durk's twin. 42 Doug says, I hate when people do stuff to good people, rat people involving white boys and street stuff. People be lames and could have pulled up on so many other people, but instead they pull up on a kid with nothing to do with nothing. Y'all can never expect non-street people to understand the streets. These people running up trying to ruin his life, knowing a real man would spit on you. Now 6ix9ine responded to him on Instagram live. 6ix9ine said, I would smack the fire out of you 42 Doug. Doug, let's get in a hotel room, just me and you, and let's see what happens. I show proof that I don't have security. Now with them beefing back and forth, this obviously went viral online. And with 6ix9ine still technically being a federal informant from his time snitching against 9 Trey, when 6ix9ine ever gets into any online beef, the feds are quickly to look over it. Now this is what triggered the 42 Doug manhunt, resulting in his arrest, as news outlets reported that 42 Doug failed to surrender himself into jail. A manhunt was then created by a special forces police team to find the Detroit rapper, as the rapper was originally supposed to serve a six month prison sentence, with 42 Doug Ducking law enforcement from the original case, his new prison sentence may now be upwards to five years. The next drill rapper that 6ix9ine snitched on is 600 Breezy. In February 2021, 6ix9ine was on an Instagram live with 600 Breezy. During this IG live, 6ix9ine was dissing all rappers that sadly passed who are from Chicago. 600 Breezy hops in the IG live and tells 6ix9ine repeatedly that he will be dealt with and that it's on site whenever he sees 6ix9ine. Then something very strange happened. A few months went by, 600 Breezy was just very silent and no one really knew what happened to him. Well, just last week, Breezy finally hopped back on IG live and he shared this message. Iowa Department of Corrections, right? When they say violation, February 22nd, 21, right? What the f do that say, bro? It say I didn't sick 069, right? You feel me? You see they try how much time they try to give me, right? You gonna go to jail. I just went to jail for saying something. Come on, bro. This real, like, come on. I can't make this up, I can't print. Now Breezy's camera didn't focus well on the paperwork, but it states, posted videos saying that he was going to go after rapper 6ix9ine and had a firearm posted on social media with an extendo. Now this entire incident went down after King Von's sad passing. 6ix9ine responded to Breezy and even dissed Lil Durk in his new song, Jenna. This diss song made many rappers react to 6ix9ine. In the lyrics, it goes as followed. Your man got hit, you made a diss track. Go get a strap and get some get back. Your man got hit, he's not coming back. Go get a strap and get some get back. You a B, I knew you wouldn't ride for your homie. I knew you wouldn't ride by your dolly. Now while 6ix9ine was saying those lyrics in his song, he flashed a photo on the screen saying slide for Vaughn, with those lyrics clearly being directed towards Lil Durk. So after King Vaughn sadly passed by NBA Youngboy's crew members Quando Rondo and Lil Tim, instead of sliding for revenge, against them, Dirk instead released his new song titled Aha. Now Lil Dirk admitted this was a diss song towards NBA Youngboy, not only in the lyrics, but also on the Nelk Boys podcast. On the show, Lil Dirk was asked about the current beef with NBA Youngboy. He didn't want to mention Youngboy's name specifically. Instead, we saw Dirk refer to NBA Youngboy as a troll instead, not wanting to give him publicity while on the show. One of the cast members then asked 
Lil Durk, when's the last time you responded to a troll? Lil Durk replies, I dropped a song called Aha. Yeah, well, that's when I responded to it. Now, not only is 6ix9ine putting himself in danger against Lil Durk once again, but he's continuing to go at the fans, new king of New York, known as Favio Foreign. Favio had many reactions and things to say about 6ix9ine's latest snitching and disses. Now, it all started on March 8th, where Takashi 6 ix 9 posted on his Instagram stating, When I left and took a break, I didn't say a word to no one. I didn't need to explain nothing. I just did it. I woke up, and now I want to take over again. So get out of my way, the king of New York is back. Now following that Instagram story, 6ix9ine then posted a snippet of his new song. He added a caption to it saying, I hoped everyone enjoyed their 15 minutes. The boy is back April 15th. I'm the beast they couldn't contain. The industry's most hated animal. April 15th, the king of New York is coming back and I'm coming home. Don't get caught on replay. Now with that snippet that 6ix9ine posted, got many reactions from rappers. But it also got reactions from street members that 6ix9ine snitched on. A day after he posted that snippet, the video spot where he was recording was vandalized. As reported by DJ Academics, this was posted. They vandalized the place that 6ix9ine recorded a video at. They wrote rat all over it. Now 6ix9ine commented on this post stating, What did the building do to them? Sliding with graffiti cans. Now all of this got the attention of Fabio Foreign. Fabio, being one of the largest rappers in New York City, posted this reaction on Twitter. Five billboards in Times Square, top five songs in New York on Apple at once, in articles in both Daily News and New York Times. Don't ever let that man say he's the king of this city. This is when we saw 6ix9ine reply to Fabio saying, Didn't his best best friend just get hit in his head a month ago and he's worried about billboards in Times Square? Now it obviously didn't end here with Fabio Foreign as 6 ix once again bringing up friends that have sadly passed. The first week numbers for his newest album titled Bible was then released. Fabio, being on pace to sell 29k units first week, had 6 9 react to it stating, This is y'all's king? Not blackballed? All of those features? The whole industry promoted that. And now you, Kanye, and Nicki's sidekick even then tried to help you promote it? Now with Jin A being released for only 4 hours, 6 9 screenshotted his numbers and posted it alongside 3 other New York rappers who all released music around that time. Now with what looks like supposed to be a supportive picture, it actually has a lot more meaning than you might think. 6ix9ine writes, Shout out to everyone doing they think. King of New York is back showing that in only 4 hours 6ix9ine got more views than all of the other New York rappers when their songs were released for a day or even sometimes a few days. Now Fabio Foreign, he had enough. He finally reacted to all of these 6ix9ine disses on Instagram. Fabio posts on his story saying, And right here is why I don't respond to these lame cloud chasers. You can buy your way up the ranks, but you can't buy chart positions. Everything this kid has ever said has been a lie and everything else is also gonna be a lie. I apologize to the real ones that's mad I'm even entertaining this stuff, but the fans must know what's really going on in New York. Now you may be wondering with all of these disses that 6ix9ine does, when will someone just finally have enough? Well, before 6ix9ine took his one year break from social media, someone did run up on 6ix9ine, and this was kept quiet from the entire media. So right before 6ix9ine disappeared for a year, this video clip right here was released. Now after this video went around online, a very concerning photo of 6ix9ine was then attached to the thread. So in this photo, you see 6ix9ine getting a cast put onto his arm. There was a second photo with it, but I'm not allowed to share it due to 6ix9ine having many bruises on his face. So fans, they started digging around social media. They realized, around 3-4 to four weeks before the video of 6ix9ine getting ran up on was released, this is where 6ix9ine posted the famous photo of him wearing King Von's face on a t-shirt. Now that type of thing obviously won't settle well with rappers that are from Chicago, especially 600 Breezy, who I mentioned earlier in the video. There's a conspiracy theory that Breezy and other Chicago rappers ran up on 6ix9ine, but that is still not 
not been confirmed. So with it being very clear rappers want to get revenge on 6 9 for either snitching or dissing, he has other things that he needs to worry about. Two weeks before the release of Gen A, 6 9 was sued for $11 million in a civil lawsuit from a 2018 robbery he was involved in. Now 6 9 claimed in court that he is broke and struggling to get by and also has nowhere near $11 million to pay off this lawsuit. During the promotional run for his newest song, 6 9 posted a video to his Instagram where the New York rapper is seen holding millions of dollars in cash near several supercars and millions in dollars of watches. Now in that caption, 6 9 says, The real king of New York, I'm back. Ask them to post their houses, their cars, and their bank account. You don't live like this. I own everything that you guys lease. I took off a rap for two years. I could do that, y'all can't. The real king of New York, tomorrow. Gen A music video, 3 p.m. Now obviously that money looks very real. The two individuals suing 6 9 showed this video to the judge. This is when we saw 6 9 do a random interview out of the blue with TMZ. On this TMZ interview, 6 9 says and I quote, Oh, that was just prop money. Like I said, I ain't got it. I'm an entertainer. And obviously, we're talking about it so I did a pretty good job at entertaining people. You know how you have a degree in law? Well I have a degree in entertainment. Now Sakitha Wanzer is one of the two involved in the 2018 robbery. Now, Sakitha stated this, As far as him showing millions of dollars, he owes me all of that. I want every dime of it, whether it's fake or real money. Wanzer added, I need all of those watches that he showed. I want all of those supercars. And I want my entire judgment with interest paid in full. And I'm not going to stop until victory and justice has been served against this rainbow rat. And it was Sky, a woman who took all of the rat's cheese. So there was multiple rappers reacting to 6 9 snitching and even 6 9 dissing in music. Hope you enjoyed. I'm out. Peace.